Good morning guys and welcome back to another studio vlog. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lucy and I run Luna Rocks. So it's been a while since we did a studio vlog and I will start out by saying I am very sorry for how tired I am. For those of you who have been with me a little while, you know that I don't always sleep too well and last night was no exception. I woke up at half past one and didn't go back to sleep. I ended up getting up at four, doing some yoga, doing some meditation because I just couldn't get back to sleep. And I feel like my eyes are like this. <laughs> it's now 11 o'clock, so we, it's quite late to get started for the day. And probably just not gonna make a lot of sense today, but I'll try my best. Please bear with me, please bear with me. I'm so cold and uncomfortable as well. This has just come out of the wash. I hung out last night, but it's not dry. All the sleeves are wet, so it's like really not that comfortable because it's all soggy and stuff. I don't really know what I've got to do today other than orders because Monday I have like a normal kind of routine that I do. So I've got, I need to do any emails and replies to comments um, and things like that. I've got orders and then I normally do some work on Patreon, but I also need to sort out my Kickstarter project. So if you don't follow me on social media, this may be news to you. I launched a new Kickstarter campaign on Friday and it is for some enamel pins, which I will show you soon. And there's also gonna be holographic stickers and we just unlocked the first key ring design as well. And if things go well, there will be more enamel pins and more key rings and socks. Oh my god, I'm so excited! And what else is there? Oh, postcards as well. So yeah, um, that launch is going pretty well. We've unlocked the first four rewards so far. I'll leave a link in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Anyway, let's show you what I've got for my Kickstarter. So this is as close as I can get you to my screen without holding it. Um, but I feel like I need my finger for pointing. So this is my Kickstarter campaign. At the moment, we are at £813, which is amazing considering I only launched it on Friday. The first design was funded within, I think it was uh, like five minutes. So yeah, it's amazing. Um, so I'll just show you all of the pins. So this is the first one that was unlocked at 260. And what I need to work on today is changing all of these so that they don't say unlocks at 260, but say unlocked. Um, so yeah, so we've unlocked this one, the cauldron cake, which I just love. And I think quite a lot of people love that one as well. And then everyone is now getting a free holographic sticker. Um, and there'll be an option at the end for people to add more on if they want more because at the moment it'll just be you'll get one sticker one random sticker and then we've unlocked this jelly beans uh, acrylic keyring so the theme I should probably tell you is wizarding treats the next pin to be unlocked is the jelly bean pin and then I've got a pumpkin pasty and then we've got socks and then we've got another key ring and some blowing gum and the iconic alas earwax quote on a pin and some more socks and then right at the end if we unlock everything everyone will get a free postcard and again there'll be an option to add those on so yeah I'm really happy with how it's you know how the the items have come out and people seem to really like it so hopefully we'll get everything unlocked it's still early days but we'll see how it goes hi guys it is the next day <laughs> yesterday was just a complete bust i ended up not filming much because i i just couldn't get my words out i was so so tired it was a really painful day so good news is, is that i slept much better last night and I have dry clothes on, I'm not uncomfortable. Although this jumper has got so much Barney hair on it, it's doing my head in, it's clean, it's just come out of the wash. And I just keep finding little black Barney hairs trapped in all of the wool, so I'm sorry if you see lots of dog hair. Anywho, I have just been sorting out some new card designs. So I've been redesigning some of my older cards and also coming up with some new designs. And one thing that I've noticed is that Many, many moons ago, 
I actually don't know how long ago it was. Uh, oh, I think I put a poll out on Instagram and asked whether people preferred A5 or A6 cuts. And it came back that people preferred A5 cuts. Now, this was such a long time ago. And ever since then, I've always just done A5 cuts. However, a lot of the reviews I get on Etsy is people don't read the listing. And then they're always like, wow, the card was bigger than I thought it was gonna be because they think it's gonna be A6 because they don't read it. And I think people just expect A6 cards. And then when these big A5 ones come, they're like, oh, that's quite big. So I think I'm gonna switch over to A6 for all of them. At first I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do some and keep like any romantic ones as A5. Cause I don't know about you guys, but when I'm writing a card to pull for Valentine's day or anything like that, I always write him a whole essay about how much I love him. <laughs> I, I can't help myself, but we, we both do it. So I was going to leave those big as well, but I just think I might have them all the same size so that it doesn't cause confusion. So I've got some A6 card, I think. <gasps> um, yeah, so I have some A6 flat cards and envelopes. So many more envelopes than cards though, and I don't know why. Anyway, so I've got some of those. I'm gonna do some test runs. The designs that I am redesigning, I am going to, I think, get printed professionally and print the new ones myself for the time being to work out whether any are popular or not. Because popular, popular, Cards aren't a great big seller in my shop. And maybe it's because they're only five. Maybe it's because people don't like the designs. I don't really know. So I don't want to invest loads of money and get them all printed professionally if they're not going to sell. They're a pain in the bum as well to print. And the card that I use, I don't like. I want silk card. I don't want uncoated really. But that's all I seem to be able to get my hands on for printing at home so yeah this is just going on and on and on anyway i'm gonna do some test prints let's go <laughs> okay so i used my last three little a6 cards god look at my nails no don't look at my nails i used the last three a6 cards to do test prints the colors just haven't i think it's this card that just doesn't come out great i mean if you've seen my art prints, they come out really good and it's not the printer, it's it's got to be the card because this these just aren't translating very well. Look, it looks really like um, grainy, although you can still see the detail. Yeah, these are really dinked up, the, the, the last three I had, so they'll just be samples. But I'm not sure on the writing either. What do you think? Does it look too grainy? or do we like it because i kind of wanted the writing to look a, you know a little bit handwritten so we've got happy birthday or bat i don't think i've got hang on let me see no i don't have any left to show you what the original looked like and i've sold out of my ego ones as well so i can't show you what the original ones of these look like right now but so i've got happy birthday or bat and like it's got a little birthday hat on and look at his little cute face and then i've got I love you like 11 loves eggos which is a fairly popular design um the first year i had it out i sold like 50 um, in a month which was just crazy i had to keep reordering the card so yeah i know that one sells quite well and then this one i love you a latte so my original one was just a latte and it was really old drawing and this one's got a cute little face so yeah these are the three that i've managed to print the other ones I don't have card to do at the moment. I do have A5, maybe I could test them in A5. Yeah, let's do that, let's test them in A5. Anyway, let me know what you think of the writing. Do we like it? Do we not like it? Do we like how textured and kind of handwritten it looks or not? And let me know what you think of these designs. Whoop, there we go. And yeah, let's test print the others that I have done so far. Right, I've printed them out just on A4 piece of card because I actually thought it was a bit of a waste to use up four to five A5 cards. So it's pretty much the same card stock. So it still has the same kind of textured look. Got have a magical birthday, just a cocktail with no writing for, you know, any occasion. 
because every day is cocktail day. New home with a little hermit crab and he's got his little new bow on, his new show. And then this one, right, Paul recommended that I put happy birthday on it and I really like the pun. But I'm also not sure whether it would just look better without it as just a little birthday bear. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Do you like happy birthday or do you like it as just a little bear with a pie hat on? So those are seven printed uh, so far. And then I've got one more, but I'm not going to print it out on its own on a big A4 piece of card at the moment. Also, I was hoping to go out for a walk to the post box and take you guys with me. It is so miserable outside and I just keep putting it off. It was so sunny earlier. I wish I'd just done it earlier. Good morning, guys. It has been a real, like, drawing heavy week for me. I obviously did some cards. What else did I do? Yesterday, I spent the day working on like a family portrait because I really want to start offering portraits in my shop and i really wanted to get an example ready before i offer them so uh yeah yesterday i sat on the sofa all day and drew on my ipad so it's a bit difficult to set it up and film it um, but i'll show you the time lapse of it oh uh, you know i would have really liked to film it but i actually prefer drawing on my sofa than sitting here because i end up with a like bent over with like a really hunched back if i do it here whereas if i'm sat on the sofa i prop it up on my knees like put my knees up and prop it up and i don't get as much of a backache and i can snuggle under the blanket and things like that so yeah it's a bit difficult to capture it and you know i probably should do it in here so that i can film it for you guys but yeah and I get that back so anyway I am gonna sort that out in Photoshop and actually position it all properly and then print it out and try and take a photo and then I'm thinking of offering it to my patrons first for like half price I'm not entirely sure how many slots I'm gonna open up people might not want them I don't know I know that portraits are uh, popular and people have said before they've they've messaged me and said oh would you draw me and when I've put it out there on social media and said you know I quite like to do portraits people are like oh yeah that's an amazing idea but normally what happens with these things is on social media everyone's like yeah that's an amazing idea I totally buy one and then you put it up and they're like silence it's like oh okay it can be a little bit disheartening because you you use social media and things like that as kind of market research and then it doesn't happen and it's like how am I supposed to know what to do it's really it can be really really difficult and like I said a little bit disheartening but we'll see so yeah I'm gonna fiddle around with that and print it out and try and take a photo but it's really grey today and dismal outside so not sure how good the photography is going to be and then I also need to do orders because I did not do them yesterday because I was slumming it on the sofa with my iPad so yeah that is the plan so far.
Rivendell. I really, really like that one. Not so keen on this one, because it's just a bit boring, isn't it? But I just think that one looks really cute. So I've added it into my store. Ah! Yeah, there's quite a lot of information, but it is in there yeah so it's all on there and i'm just about to post it whoosh, just about to post it to my patreons and let them know that it's up and they can have 50 percent off and then i'm gonna see how many of those i get and then if i've got enough time i might offer 50 percent off to you guys as well because i really like to offer a bit of money off but it depends how many i get from my patrons they might all do it and i've got i think like 17 patrons so that's quite a lot of portraits to do at 50 percent off it's quite a lot of money off really so yeah i'm gonna see how it goes but i'd like to offer at least some kind of launch discount for the first few when it goes public if it goes public might get no one like no one might want it <laughs> we'll see but i think the photography looks really cute i'm really chuffed with that so i'm gonna launch this and then i'm gonna pack some orders and then it's probably gonna be the end of the day anywho let's get cracking I literally just moved my printer over. I don't know what made me do it, but what do we think? So the printer was here originally, so I've got my PC, and then I had the printer there, and then the Cricut there, but I felt like because the printer came out further than the Cricut, the Cricut was kind of hit. oh. The Cricut was kind of hidden, and I like the fact it's all pink and pretty, and also it kind of opens up this bit more. Look at the scratch and wonky desk. I can't get the height right on this. It's a two man job. So you had like the printer, which came out quite far and then space behind it, which wasn't really usable. So I've, I've done this and I feel like it, oh, look all the cables under there. No, don't. I feel like it, it just opens it up a little bit more. Right, my little lovelies, I am gonna leave this vlog there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. It was quite drawing heavy this week and I feel like I haven't had that much to show you, but I think I feel like that every week. So hopefully it wasn't too bad. And I've been planning on trying to get at least two vlogs out in February. And I really wanna start doing some other videos for you guys, but I don't know what. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see. Do you wanna see some tutorials? Do you wanna see me playing around with some art supplies? Let me know, hit me up, give this video a like, and if you haven't subscribed, then click that subscribe button, and I will see you again soon. Bye.